In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your your help both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just. For my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the son of man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say when he would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel. Others will I gather to him, beside those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth. Among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on earth, you God. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light but I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord entreats the hearers in the first reading to do what is just, since his salvation is about to come. He will welcome 
all who follow his covenant, including foreigners. In the gospel, Jesus tells his audience that his testimony is from the Father and is even greater than John the Baptist. For many of us, my dear brothers and sisters, decorations, gifts, and gatherings are annual ways to prepare for Christ's coming. How do these traditions prepare our souls to accept the gift of salvation? Do they prepare our hearts with a hospitality vital to receiving Jesus? And so Advent is a time to prepare our hearts for the coming of our Savior, for the coming of the Messiah? And that is a very good question for us to think. Do our traditions help prepare a place and a space to receive Jesus? And so may we pray and let us prepare a space for the risen Christ, especially present in the lowly as we ultimately seek justice for all, to see Christ in others, especially the poor and the most vulnerable, to see Christ in the one who is quietly suffering, to see Christ and the one who might not be so quietly suffering, but might come across as a curmudgeon and frustrated to see Christ in them. But sometimes in order to help see Christ in them and for them to see Christ in themselves, we ourselves have to be that light. And when we, my dear brothers and sisters, do acts of charity, we bring light. You know, the angel tree, you know, our gifts, you know, when we take and we prepare, that it's not just an item, but maybe as we put it under the tree, we pray that the one who receives them receives joy, and that they may come to an understanding of the true meaning of what we are about to celebrate Christmas. Preparation requires for us to spend time in prayer. And so we reflect, my dear brothers and sisters, as we gather and we prepare for our traditions, that we take some time also to pray and remind ourselves the true meaning of this season so that by our good works, our acts of charity and our prayers, all the nations will come to praise our almighty God. Gathered in this house of prayer, let us turn to our loving Father with our prayers and petitions. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to greater unity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For heads of state, may the Lord help them lead their nations with truth, peace, and justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who are estranged from one another, may Christ make his presence known to them and offer them hope, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us who struggle to find friendship or support, may God surround them with loving people and pour out upon them 
is consolation and peace. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those struggling with ailments of the mind, the body, or the spirit, that they may feel the Lord's healing presence, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember in a special way the intention of the holy sacrifice of the Mass being offered this morning for Peggy and Fred Flinchball. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear the prayers we bring before you this day. Please answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last may manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 Sister, Lord, may we possess impurity of heart that's been given to us in time. May be your hand throughout their interest. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, 
that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who pray about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prosit, Paranabosa Singulis.